Good morning, everybody. Not the best morning over here, but I hope you guys are doing well. Anyway, I've been looking at these studies that Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan had cited in his video where he claims that vegans live longer. And these studies that he uses to quote unquote prove that this is true have nothing to do with vegans. Well, not much anyway. They study vegetarians, basically. So how, how do studies that study vegetarians prove anything about vegans? Epidemiological studies at that, based on food frequency questionnaires. How do studies that don't prove anything ever that study vegetarians prove something about vegans? Ooh. But I guess you don't have to engage in any mental gymnastics if it's trying to explain that. If no one's questioning you or all you do is just cherry pick and misinterpret a few charts. But that is what they do, isn't it? Anyway, those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I don't like to get into these debates about studies. But sometimes it's instructive to talk about the science a little bit. So it's not really something that I enjoy doing, but I'm afraid it must be done. And if I find some time, which I haven't had much of lately, I will break down these three studies and call Ryan out to a debate if he wants to defend the nonsense that he's pushing. We'll see. Anyway, one of the reasons I told you guys this in the past, why I don't really give a shit about the science or the studies is because, look, <laughs> and when you say these things that are facts, a lot of the vegans will use this phrase to label you, namely conspiracy theorists, right? A phrase that the CIA provided them with to feel like they're actually intelligent and smart people when in reality they're just useful idiots. But they'll call you a conspiracy theorist when you say that doctors used to recommend you smoke cigarettes. Our dietary guidelines have gotten so many people sick since they've been changed and all this grain was added to our food pyramid, right? The population has been sicker than ever before. When you point out these facts, because they want to rely on cherry-picked doctors and cherry-picked science, you point out that science is sometimes wrong and doctors are sometimes bitches. But they call you a conspiracy theorist, right? <laughs> That's not an argument, guys. But, supposedly, the science says that meat is highly inflammatory. And as I told you guys, and a lot of you, I'm sure, have experienced the same thing. When I cut out all the plants and I started eating a lot more meat, all, all of my inflammation went away. So how can meat be inflammatory? Not to me, it ain't. But science says, right? Science says by the World Hunger Organization that eating an egg is like smoking a pack of cigs or whatever the hell they say, right? Like, who believes this nonsense? Who sits there and actually believes that eating eggs is like smoking cigs? There's nothing in the scientific literature that would even suggest anything remotely close to that statement. But the World Hunger Organization comes out with it, and vegans run with it like it's gospel, right? They're fucked in the head. I mean, let's just keep it real. These, these vegans, a lot of them, are fucked in the head to say this nonsense. Meat is a carcinogen, but then you look at the studies that they conducted, not one single study that they cherry-picked out of 800 studies that they didn't look at, but the dozen studies that they cherry-pick out of these 800 studies that they like to quote, or they like to quote the fact that they considered 800 studies. Look up what considered means. Anyway, <laughs> 
you know, this just doesn't make any sense. None of those studies proved anything remotely close to that, right? But vegans run with it like it's gospel. This is why I don't like to really talk about what the science says. I don't like to debate science. Why? Because of corruption, agendas, just outright nonsense that could be debunked with logic, and, quite frankly, fraud. Let's read this article real quick. came out just a few days ago from the New York Times. Harvard calls for retraction of dozens of studies by noted, noted cardiac researcher, states the title. Oh, look at this beautiful building, the Harvard Medical School. Looks like something straight out of the Roman Empire, if that ever existed. But anyway, that's where the high priests work. So on your knees, slaves, basically. Let's read the article. Some 31 studies, 31 by Dr. Piero and Versa contain fabricated or falsified data, officials concluded. Dr. and Versa popularized the idea of stem cell treatment for damaged hearts. I'm not going to read this article and bore you with it, but maybe just another paragraph or two by Gina Colada. <laughs> Pina Colada, you think that's her real name? Anyway, a prominent heart researcher formerly at Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston fabricated or falsified data in 31 published studies that should be retracted, officials at the institution have concluded. The scientist, the scientist, Dr. Piero Anversa produced research suggesting that damaged heart muscle could be regenerated with stem cells, a type of cell that can transform into it into a variety of other cells. If you're interested, go check out the article, blah, blah, blah. But basically what they state in there is that, well, there were a lot of red flags, but they just kind of turned a blind eye to it. And, you know, Harvard wasn't too keen on investigating the doctor or going after him, blah, blah, blah. And these findings call the whole field of study into research. Uh, I'm not sure if the if it's Harvard's cardiology department that they're saying should be called into did I say research? I meant to say called into question. I hope I said that. Anyway, you get the point. I'm not sure if they're talking about stem cell research into or how the stem cells could be used to repair the heart or Harvard's entire cardiology department. I'm not sure about that because the author of this article doesn't make that clear. But anyway, when it comes to cardiology and Harvard, if you're a heavy meat eater, that might be, and you've been looking into the science, that might be something oh i don't know close to your heart right something that you've been interested in something that you've been looking at for a while and well maybe something that gave you a little bit of worry consuming all that saturated fat and cholesterol right because harvard has been on the forefront of pushing the vegan diet and they've been on the forefront of this heart research and you know smashing attacking uh demonizing saturated fat and cholesterol, right? Harvard's been on the forefront of that nonsense. So me, for me, for someone like myself, seeing this one article as if I needed to see this, because I never believed anything that comes out of, out of Harvard. I mean, just look at the building, right? Conspiracy theory! <laughs> I, I, don't, I didn't really need this confirmation, but reading this article, yeah. I'm that much more convinced that Harvard, whatever they say about the heart, I'm going to ignore that. Okay, whatever they say about the relationship between saturated fat, cholesterol, and heart disease, not interested, right? I call into question Harvard Medical School and whatever, quote-unquote, findings they may come up with. Why? Because you know what they say about roaches, right? When there's one... There are probably hundreds. Harvard 
Suspend Doctor for Frauds. New York Times, December 16th, 1981. Reading from the article. A rapidly rising young doctor at the Harvard Medical School has admitted he falsified data in a heart research experiment. And the school has instituted a major investigation to decide how to handle the case according to the school's dean. I'm not getting into the details. You see the link. Check out the article if you're interested. One last paragraph. The incident follows several, several other cases of falsification of data in medical school laboratories in the last few years. There's a growing concern about the reliability of scientific experiments. In some of the earlier cases, the doctors responsible for the research were reluctant to admit the fabrications. <laughs> my, my science, though, right? The World Hunger Organization says, though, well, there's a study out of Harvard that says that blah, 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 blah. Eat meat, guys. All right? I don't think I need to say any more. I'm sure you could connect the dots. Have a good day.